My name is David. I have lived in my Prius for six years. I absolutely love it. It's comfortable. The climate control is amazing. I always have the perfect temperature. It's small, stealth. It gets great mileage. I don't have any sense of sacrifice. I feel like this is exactly where I want to live. I really don't want to be in a house or apartment or even a bigger vehicle. So a lot of things have evolved in my six years. You know, I've tweaked and bought things and tried things, lots of trial and error. There's no shortcut to trial and error and mistakes if you're on the road. You have to put too much in your vehicle to start with. You have to buy things you don't need. There's no shortcut to doing that to learn. So some of the features of what I've come into, what I've evolved to with my Prius, I took out the front seat and now there's a table there which happens to be a teak table that I made pottery on for many years. So it has a wonderful nostalgic feeling. I'm driving down the road and here's my pottery table that I sat on for 20 plus years. So that's the front and that makes kitchen counter, desk, um, whatever surface I need. It goes back quite a ways. No Prius has a really good flat space. Some are definitely better than others for creating your bed. But after a few years, I ended up with just put a board all the way back. So now I've got flat, nice flat. At night, my package of sleeping gear flips forward into a Murphy, more or less. This choice of sleeping gear after trying every mattress I ever heard of, every sleeping bag, every piece of gear for sleeping, I have ended up with a Thermarest Neo Air Therm inside of a mummy bag. And that's a great package, easy to deal with, washable. So that's the bottom, I sleep on that. And then I have also evolved into a quilt bag rather than any other sort of uh, sleeping or blankets. So I have a quilt bag. Um, this is from the Enlightened Equipment Company. It's not the only quilt bag out there. But somebody decided, why are we, why do we have a bottom on our sleeping bag when we lay on it and squash it? No heat, right? So they made this open style, and it can be a mummy bag, it can be a rectangle bag, or it can open into a quilt. So that's, that's the sleeping gear that I am really happy I found. Another thing I did the Prius kind of recently, and it's been wonderful, I took out the spare tire, the tool tray, and the trunk cover. So now I have this wonderful hole. I can pack my gear in there in layers and know where it is. And I now have room for my taller BioLite stove without interrupting the window view in the back. So I have solar on the top, two flexible panels. If you're gonna put solar on your vehicle, of course you gotta study it. Flexible is not the most durable, a lot of people hate them. In my case, because the Prius is such an incredibly efficient generator, having the panels means I am now using the, the, I'm now using the Prius, running it for air conditioning or heat, I'm no longer running it to generate electricity or charge all my things. So that's saving me $30 a month in gas. So that justifies the shorter life of the flexible panels for me. Aerodynamics being really important, I didn't want to put hard panels on. So those panels will charge my bike battery for most days, 20, 30 miles of ride. Um, in addition to the panels, I didn't need a lot of panels. I have 200 watts of panels because I always have the car to generate electricity as a backup. So if I ride 40 miles on my bike, it wasn't sunny that day, I can still charge my bike battery without the solar system. So I charge the bike off the solar. The bike that I ended up with is a turn bike, and I had a motor kit put on it after a couple of years. So it's a folding bike. I used to have it inside, and it fit really fit fine, even with sleeping, even with the freezer. And then I decided I needed more room for my granddaughter, so I put it outside, giving me more room. But certainly a folding bike can fit in a Prius and still have room for bed and fridge. Um, mine's outside, it gets dirty. You know, now it's outside, so it's a, it's a seven-speed internal turn VSI D7. I. There's other folding bikes that are great if you try to if you want them on the inside of a vehicle. So the solar also powers my freezer. 
my choice of freezer after a lot of studying was the angle and it's half the power of like the other favorite one is a Dometic it lasts much longer it has a one piece compressor it freezes quickly it's the one that EMTs and military use so it's a couple hundred bucks more than all the other ones but it, it'll pay for itself pretty quick so that's the angle ENGLE that I have any freezer has decent insulation but it always helps to add insulation people add reflex chicks they all add all kinds of stuff I found out a hanging clothes bag fits perfectly over my freezer and it's full of down clothing and winter clothing it adds a lot of insulation to the freezer probably gives me 20% more efficiency so I'm in Minnesota a lot and I wake up in the morning and there's so many bugs on my screen I can't get out of the car I have to drive down the road <laughs> to get the bugs off these screens I'm really pleased with what I came up with so this is a, a an earth magnet in a pocket of 3m mounting tape okay and the screen folded over it so that's the top where the metal is okay so it's removable if I want to see the stars and I have it off half the time that's on the metal and then on any vehicle you're going to run into some plastic how do you span the plastic uh, what I came up with was two pieces of magnetic strip okay the bottom one on the door has an additional strip of 3M double stick tape so that will come off really well and really clean not hurt the car and it's a nice tight seal so those have made great screens for my curtains like the screens I tried no less than a zillion attempts at curtains and screens so this is the last one I came up with um, on this and most cars you have to be able to get into the headliner easily because there's seat there's all kinds of wiring in there so pull it away with your fingers on most cars and tape with a strong duct tape gorilla tape tape a magnet on there okay and then polar fleece is a good material because it doesn't need sewing it doesn't unravel and the duct tape sticks as well as stitching and I don't know how to sew so I chose duct tape on polar fleece it's on Amazon polar fleece this goes up really quickly when I'm inside not as quick but quickly enough up here the advantage over these and I kind of hate the I hate the reflex sticks I used to do construction I know what it does with reflectix plugs you can't open them very easily and let air in you can't open them to peek out you can't open them halfway and really they do not insulate that much reflectix is not it's reflection not an insulation reflection is okay in a small vehicle because you're reflecting your body heat but still insulation is better other than the dirt in the windows so this is extremely black and this is the daytime so I am essentially as invisible as you can make a vehicle very black so those are my curtains and I have those on all the windows and I have them on the front on a Prius probably other cars have metal around the edge of the windshield that you can put the magnets to um, for a while I was rolling these up really neatly and a Prius headliner holds velcro really nice so he's velcroing all up I kind of got lazy about doing that every day on the Prius other vehicles SUVs and stuff you can pop off the trim and I popped off the trim and I put magnets along the inside edge so that the cloth covers this ridge so when you close it there's no cracks of light not too much to see here in the front although you can see a little bit of kind of instrument panel um, socket panel that I put in for uh, 12 volt items so I have like six of them a couple off of the car 12 volt if I'm running the car I've got that if I stop the car I've got two for solar and then I actually have two 24 volt for the freezer those four solar are com coming directly off another battery in there a little difficult to see So I have a, a, hundred and, a 12 volt to 110 volt inverter and that's tapped off of the rear 12 volt battery. 
So that's completely separate from the solar system. Prius is so electronically sophisticated, I didn't want to tap and mess it. So solar system and other battery is all separate. But I have a specific battery for that, for the solar system, for the lithium battery. So my sixth year, into my sixth year, and durability and the Prius is really great. I had another Prius before this. It was a salvaged, it was a lemon from hell. But I learned a lot. So I'm able to do most of the work on this. And people should know there's not very much additional mechanical experience needed for a Prius. There's a little bit of electric stuff. But if you're already mechanical, you can pick that up pretty quick. So please don't be afraid of owning a Prius because of the mechanics. It's all, you can, it's all doable. So I had that other one first. And this one is a Gen 2. They were both a Gen 2. A Prius Gen 2 goes from 04 to 09. This one is an 06. They don't change much in those years. And the newer generations have more changes, but mechanically, they're all kind of the same. So I love any Prius. I don't whine about whether they're new or old. So from my uh, inverter, I have a 1500 watt inverter off of the 12 volt system. This is separate from the solar. This is part of the car. For my cooking, and I love cooking in the Prius, I love experimenting, trying lots of foods. This is an induction stove which some people know doesn't have a flame. It needs to heat a pan that has iron in it. About 30% of the pans out there now say induction ready. Um, it's wonderful control, changing the temperature. It's very safe inside a car and it runs off, this one runs off. You pretty much need at least a thousand watt inverter. Um, and then I have a green pan, I have another saucepan. So three pans, I can cook all this stuff, it's great. I have always from the beginning endeavored to have everything in the Prius, not having to get out for as few reasons as possible. So my cooking, my sleeping is all inside of the Prius. Everything is easy to reach, it flows really nice, and it's extremely comfortable if, in terms of body movement efficiency. So I'm at the RTR, and this year no, no toilets, yuck. So I broke down and bought the, it's only $20, potty tent and a little fold of potty. And what an incredible emergency thing. I would feel comfortable pulling over almost anywhere, setting it up quick, using it. Otherwise, I do half my business in the car. You might imagine which half. And I have managed to almost always park at a vault toilet or big box store or 24-hour gas station. So I have almost always managed to park near a toilet. But now I have an option, so I'm happy about that. So I have a website, uh, Prius Dwelling at WordPress.com. I also have a Facebook group called Prius Camping. Be sure to check out Adventure Know How, my new site, where you can gain access to a map of all of my free campsites, plus monthly bonus videos that you won't find anywhere else. Learn more at adventureknowhow.com. And for links to everything else SUV RVing related, visit suvrving.com. Links to these sites and more will be in the video description.